Another little tip here, if procrastination has ever been an issue for you, and it is, well, let me ask you a question, okay? The question is, a goal you're working on, maybe you have, you know, a to-do list around that, and you're trying to put in habits that will make you more productive, right? Well, let me ask you this. What's the maximum amount of time you're willing to put into that? Per day, we'll say, or per week, whichever way you want to frame it. What's the maximum amount of time you want to put to that? Now, it's kind of a, a question assuming something. It's assuming that you have put a maximum time on it. And the tip here, I guess, is if you don't have a maximum time assigned to it, it's going to make it more likely that you will procrastinate. Okay, now a maximum time is basically like, let's say for, for instance, if you're in, you're in college or it doesn't matter what it is you are, you're doing, if you're working on your business or something like that, maybe a side business. If you don't send your nervous system a signal that this task I'm about to engage in is finite, okay? it's going to feel overwhelmed. And again, I keep saying this in my videos, your nervous system will react to that, okay? We need not to fight against the nervous system, which is sending us these signals to protect us all the time. We need to reconcile with it and we need to meet it halfway, okay? So if we're telling it that there's an infinite amount of time I could spend in this project or I have all day, which is another kind of uh, maximum of, maxim of procrastination, that's going to be an issue. Okay, so this is the, the, the purpose of this little short video here is a little tip, put maximums in place. Okay, so it might be if you really want to do a lot of work, you might say to yourself, I'm going to spend four hours today on this project, right? But do put an upper limit on the amount of time you spend on it. Now, once you reach that upper limit of time, let's say you do manage to, to follow through and implement that amount of productive work, what I want you to do is be really strict with that as a boundary. Do not allow yourself, even if you're making great progress when you get to the end of the time, be strict and end your engagement with the goal, okay? Now, four hours is a lot. Your, your upper limit, depending on how busy you are, it could be half an hour, okay? It could be one hour, it could be whatever it is for you personally, right? But having that in place. Now, you can also have minimums, okay? A minimum might be, half an hour for you, it could be an hour for you. Really, your minimum should be really so achievable that it seems almost insignificant. That's the shorthand little tip for that, right? Anything that seems really easy to make, to maintain consistency in. Again, all we're trying to do with procrastination and any goal achievement or motivation is calm the nervous system first, okay? Don't feel overwhelmed. Forget motivation. Motivation comes as a byproduct of consistently engaging with something, right? It's not something you can really foster artificially within yourself. All we need to do is feel calm and then naturally we engage with the, the goal we're after, okay? So the tip here is be really mindful about setting a minimum, but certainly a maximum amount of time for your engagement with any project, project you're doing. Okay, that's something I talk about in, in my book on, on the issue. Um, and I found that if that isn't in place, it leads to all sorts of problems. Okay, now this is for people who have an issue with procrastination. And from my experience, there are many of us who have this issue. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, when you're scheduling in your time, you're scheduling in what your day is going to look like, there needs to be an upper limit on this. And I promise you that if you implement that, your nervous system will start to relax. And also you'll have more urgency in your work. You'll have much more focus in it because you know time is not infinite here, okay? You don't have all day. There's nothing like this idea of I have all day to lose focus, to lose intensity when you're with the work, okay? So we limit the time and watch what happens. I think it'll be a big, big help and a much greater improvement than having this kind of vague sense of engaging with it. Hope that was helpful, folks, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.